Which comes first, humanism or national security? Two major crises have impacted President Obama's support rate lately. The trading of one American prisoner of war soldiers in Afghanistan for five Taliban prisoners from Guantanamo Bay Prison in Cuba upsets many Americans in Congress. In addition, thousands of undocumented and unaccompanied immigrant youths from Central American countries flooding through the southern border have made a big splash nationwide. President Obama has been under tremendous pressure for sacrificing national security for humanism. U.S. politicians began criticizing President Obama for not letting the U.S. Congress know about the Taliban prisoner exchange. They also claimed that President Obama made a big mistake releasing those five Taliban prisoners who were the top dangerous people in the terrorist list. With the unbalanced one to five exchange, President Obama still insisted that he would never regret bringing the only prisoner of war Sergeant Bo Bergdahl in Afghanistan back home. No soldier left behind is the U.S. fundamental principle of humanism in military. The president also informed the country that the tough prisoner exchange operation had to be kept secret and had to be performed quickly. Otherwise, Sergeant Bergdahl's life would be in danger if they left him too long with his captors. However, this saying triggered another controversy. Sergeant Bergdahl was captured after leaving camp without permission in June 2009. He was not captured in battle. The next issue, which was the massive undocumented and unaccompanied immigrant use, had nothing to do with terrorists, but it would still cause national security to be in jeopardy. According to the Office of Refugee Resettlement, the number of undocumented use soared from around 7,000 to 8,000 a year in early 2000 to 24,668 in 2013. The agency had already accepted more than 42,000 in the first half of 2014. Unlike illegal adult immigrants, the deporting process for these youth immigrants is complicated and lengthy. Some of them would end up staying in the U.S. permanently. This is the major factor why parents of Central American countries have been continuing to send their children to the U.S. Instead of sneaking around Border Patrol checkpoints or cramming into vans for safe housing farther north, these kids squatted on the levee and awaited their arrest. They're not bothering to sneak deeper into Texas as usual but opting to turn themselves in and allow the U.S. policy toward immigrant use to decide their fate, said Chris Cabrera, vice president of the local chapter of the National Border Patrol Council. It greatly burdens federal finance. A porous southern border is now on the advertising list for people who want to do nefarious things to the United States. At the southern border, the number of people being apprehended from countries that have substantial terrorist ties, including Pakistan and Syria, is at a historic record high, said Texas Governor Rick Perry. Should humanism override national security? 